All right, welcome back to the second part uh, of this tutorial. And as you can tell, we, we already rendered out our animation. Uh, and it, it, is, it isn't finished for sure, so we'll have to bring it into After Effects and do a few compositing things to wrap it up. But uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. And I did a few changes. Uh, I, I think I changed the reflection, the blurriness. I brought that up to 6% because uh, it just looked too sharp for me. So that's the only change and plus don't forget when you render out don't forget to uh, select ambient occlusion so yeah this one is pretty much done on the vehicle so let's render out our uh, skid marks and basically we'll just go in back into our project and then turn the truck off turn these skid marks on by the way I'm holding alt and click you know double click and that's what how you can select both of them but anyway so hide your truck and so all you can see is your skid marks and as you can tell, they stop at 60. So make sure you set up your um, output to 60. And what else? Everything else can stay except ambient occlusion and multipass. You don't have to have that. So just set up your render and hit render. And I'll meet you in After Effects. OK, so here we are in After Effects uh, to do our final compositing. Uh, and as you can see, I already brought all my stuff into my uh, comp. Uh, or into my project and first I have skid marks for my passes I have my truck render I also have trucked uh, object buffer so and in my main comp I have the camera from from cinema 4d and the uh, null object for the reference so let's start with our truck first truck footage I'm gonna make a new comp with this one and just drag it into a new comp and I'll label it truck and I'll drag it into my pre-comp folder uh, and inside here I'll isolate the truck by itself so to do that I'll bring my truck object buffer and drop it right over the top of it and then uh, I'll do track mat luma mat and basically it will if you hit alpha channel uh, it, it basically isolates it so this is what I want but the only problem that you get uh, some you know with cinema 4d with passes is it gives you this weird white looking line now if you do like straight alpha you won't you won't have that problem but but if you do passes you will have this uh, and man is it annoying but um, you know I never did uh, go and research how to fix it I kind of just fixed it on my own and went with it so I'm sure there might be already a fix to for it or I'm sure there's better way to do it but this is how I do it uh, let's go back into my main comp and I already have this one this drug isolated so I'll bring it into my main comp and here you know we see the lines and what I do I normally go to the simple uh, choker and I'll select that and I'll drag it uh, on top of my uh, pre comp and what well, next what you need to do is just uh, choke the mat a little bit and as you can see the white is going away probably not the best way to go about it but it always seemed to work for me so yeah if you know uh, how to fix that glitch uh, be sure uh, to post a comment or something but anyway this works for me but in fact maybe 1.6 okay this is good uh, next let's go back into our um, actually we're already in the main comp so next what I'll do I'll drop my uh, uh, skid marks underneath my truck so now we have the skid marks and we have the truck isolated but here's the problem because I isolated the truck by itself I lost my shadows and uh, another problem we have our skid marks uh, footage is too short because we only rendered it out to if you hit control and click you can see frames but we only rendered it out to 60 frames and our comp is 100 frames so to do to fix that, to stretch the last frame, uh, we just uh, select our layer and then hold Control Alt T to activate time remap, and then drag and shift snap your last frame to the very end of your comp. So that seemed to help. Uh, next, what I'll do, I'll bring in my shadows, so or fix the shadows of the car. So to do that, I'll bring. Um, the main truck footage and I'll drop it in between my two you know truck and skid marks but now we see the shadows but we lost 
uh, the um, skid marks and to to see the skid marks we'll go into blend mode and apply multiply and now it fixes it so that's good next uh, I'll create a new background uh, I'll hit control Y on my keyboard uh, and then make comp size that's good and I'll drag and drop it to the very end end of my layer or of my comp uh, and then I'll hit enter and rename it to BG for background okay uh, I'll isolate it so I can see what I'm doing and I'll bring in a ramp and I'll drag and drop it onto my uh, background layer and I'll use uh, radial ramp and I'll drag it to the center of my uh, canvas and uh, let's invert the colors I'm gonna use slightly offset white and black and I'll stretch this out some so we have like a nice little background so this is good um, but here's we have the same problem the the skid marks layer uh, actually covers the background so we can't really see it so let's do multiply again and so there it is so that's good uh, we can do a little color correction um, with curves on, with our on, on our truck uh, just maybe do the S famous S fix basically brightness and contrast just slightly okay this is good enough um, next uh, okay what else can I do um, you know let's try this I, I have this image that I got from CG textures and all it is is just a it's a tie uh, it's an image of uh, uh, I guess mud or, or soil and um, and it is tileable so you can tile this so I'm gonna make it 3d and if my reference where the truck is is if you hit P you can tell the position of it is zero 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 so I'll hit P on this and just zero my position down so that it, it's in the same place as that null and I'll hit R and then on X uh, axis I'm going to rotate it negative 90 degrees so this is basically my floor and I'm gonna tile it with a repeat tile CC repeat tile and I'll drop it on top of this and then pull uh, you know slide on to the right slide it to the left and also all the way down so you know you can basically create your ground you know you have you can have this one layer like grass and then the other one uh, this mud and you can uh, let the um, skid marks reveal the mud and that can be pretty cool effect but what I'm gonna use for this and you can use like a grunge effect for uh, for this what I'm trying to do with this but uh, I just happened to have this image. I couldn't find like a, a grunge looking um, texture real quick, so I, I'm just using this for grunge. So yeah, if you have something better, use it by all means. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this right over the top of my skid marks, uh, and then um, I'm going to loom my mat. Or oh, I'm sorry. I need to put it on the bottom, okay? And then Luma Mat Inverted, okay. So basically, I uh, I'm letting the uh, skid marks reveal my my uh, mud. And in, uh, once I have that, I'm going to um, play with the texture itself. I'm going to bring in hue and saturation. Uh, drop that in there, and then desaturate it. And by the way, make sure you apply that to uh, our soil texture. Okay, desaturate it. And then I'll bring curves in. And I'll play with, um, with darkness here. And all I'm doing basically creating something different from 
because my my um, skid marks are too fake, too clean. So let's create a little little um, raw skid marks kind of look. Okay, just play with this and see what you come up with. Probably good. I don't want it to be too black, so maybe. And I don't want it to be too de detailed as well. Yeah. Yeah, maybe pull it black just a little bit. Ah, that's good enough. You can play with it, apply different textures and whatnot, but you get the idea. Make it look more rough uh, than than you know smooth and and straight so um, in fact you can probably scale this okay that's good enough you get the idea basically you can spend more time and make it look awesome um, next what I'll do I'll bring in uh, an, a null or a solid back into my comp and I'll put it on the top of everything and I'll type four color uh, and then I'll look for four color gradient and uh, what this does uh, if you blend this, them together you can pick any colors but I'm just going to use the, the default colors and if you blend them together and then use a blending mode you can achieve some cool look um, you can bring in some color into the scene uh, so that it's not looking too plain you know just go through them and see what you think looks good uh, like, like that doesn't look bad, and you can you know use the opacity and bring it some down. You know before and after you can tell a little color uh, bringing the color into the scene uh, doesn't doesn't hurt really. So it's not a dull uh, white kind of look. Maybe fifty percent. Um. Other than that, this is pretty much it. You know, play with stuff, bring in um, any kind of elements. You can also, you know, when you render before you render out out of Cinema 4D, you can attach like um, uh, like particles in, under your tires, and you know, make them uh, emit some uh, random like mud or just something random geometry to make it look more kind of rough um, look or whatever. Uh, Definitely try anything. Try anything. But the main idea, uh, the main idea for this tutorial was how to create these skid marks. And I hope you found it useful. Uh, be sure to um, come back and watch any other tutorials. Uh, like this video, subscribe, comment. I'd love to hear any kind of. If you have anything better, uh, you know, if you feel like, uh, you know, anything you can um, suggest would be awesome. So. Thanks for, for your time, thanks for watching, uh, and definitely come back again.